Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. On today's show, we're going to create ourselves a dessert, a rum pie, more specifically, a tropical elixir rum pie. Tropical elixir, that is our little concoction that we create with six rums and apricot brandy. That's what we make our goombe smashes with, our pina coladas. So I guess what we're gonna be creating today is a goombe smash pie. All right, we've got all our ingredients right here. We got six ingredients plus a graham cracker crust for our rum pie or our goombe smash pie. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. We've got, um, we've got some whole cream. We've got gelatin. We've got some cold water. We've got sugar. We've got three egg yolks and right here, oh yeah, that's our tropical elixir. Now, if you don't have that or haven't made it up, just Good old plain rum, white rum, dark rum, that 151 rum, the, the, the flavored rum, spice rum, whatever you want to use. There it is. Now, let me give you a little uh, warning here of that we are not cooking the alcohol off of this rum. So it's, it's what you get. So this is not a pie for little kids. This is an adult pie. So anyway, let's get ourselves started with that. I'm going to move this graham cracker crust right over here. And the first thing, well, you know what? The first thing we need to do, let me rearrange some of this just a little bit so we can get rolling here. First thing we need to do is to add our gelatin to our cold water. This is about a um, teaspoon and a half of gelatin, uh, which, which is about half of an envelope of the powdered gelatin. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna mix this up just like so, a little cloudy and I'm just gonna let it sit right there for about five minutes so it kind of hydrates itself. So while that's doing that, usually we would be separating our eggs, but I didn't think you wanted to <laughs> watch me separate eggs. So I went ahead and separated these. Right here we've got three egg yolks and I'm gonna come in here and just kind of knock these down and give them a nice little quick whisk, just like this. Now we've got a half a cup of sugar I'm gonna add to that. And now I'm gonna get this mixed up in here and I'm gonna start whisking the heck out of this thing, probably for a minute or two. What I wanna try to do is, is just reduce, see how nice and yellow that is? We wanna try to add a little bit of air in there and turn it to a little bit more of a pale yellow. Right, now see it, check that color out. It is, it is a light, kind of a nice pale yellow. Now you know what, that takes a lot of work. We're talking about Goombe smashes. You know what, I think we're gonna take a break. While our gelatin is doing its thing, we're going to create, no, create anything. We're gonna pour ourselves a Goombe smash. Now a tropical elixir consists of six rums. We've got coconut rum, pineapple rum, dark rum, spice rum, uh, what else do we have in there? Uh, white rum. And we also have ourselves some um, apricot brandy. So, and, and the way that works is four parts coconut rum, two parts of our spice rum, and the rest is one part. So however you divide up your parts, that's up to you. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get ourselves a Goombe smash rolling. Now again, here's another thing. How strong do you like your drinks? Well, you know, that's a... That's something you got to deal with yourself because I know I'm kind of like mine strong too. So there we go. We've got our, our tropical elixir. We're going to come in here with some pineapple juice. And voila, there it is. That is our version of the Goombe Smash. I'm going to use the back end of my spatula to stir it up. And of course, we're going to have to try it out. What do we got here? We got something that's pretty good. Yes, sir. So anyway, let's get back to our pie. So again, we've got that. That's nice and, and like I said, pale yellow. It's ready to go. We've got our, our gelatin is just about done. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put this in the microwave for about 10 seconds. I want to get it back to where it's for the most part clear and slightly warm. There we go. It is okay now. Now it's liquid. It's slightly warm. But what you want to do is uh, in your microwave, do this at like a little 10-second burst and check it and make sure it's 
Yeah, it's for the most part, it's it's kind of clear. But what you, you, what'll happen is if you, if you're not paying attention, it'll it'll foam up and and uh, create a mess in your microwave. So here we go. I am going to nail because this is warm and we got eggs here. The last thing we want to do is dump it all in there and cook cook our our eggs. We don't want that at all. So we're going to come in. And as we're whisking, we're just going to slowly drizzle in our gelatin. Just like that. We're gonna, what we're doing is we're warming up our egg mixture with our gelatin. So now we shouldn't have any problem adding the entire gelatin liquid. Just like that. Okay. Okay, that one is, that's done. Almost done. We're going to be taking care of that here in a sec. Now what we need to do is we need to take our cream, which is one cup of heavy cream. That's at 36% heavy cream. And we're going to whip this, move this out of the way so you can see, whip this into uh, stiff peaks. And to do that, I'm going to break out the hand mixer because it would, wouldn't take a while, but anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Make some noise. There you go. See there? That, those are almost soft peaks. We've got, I mean, we're real close to being able to complete the pie. All right. Yeah. Just, you know what? That is, that, that is, I think that's perfect for us right there. We don't want it too stiff. So anyway, here we go. Now I bet that's going to drip and create a problem. But you know what? We got to come back to the goombe. <laughs> just like that okay now at this point we're gonna come in we've got our we've got our cream now I'm gonna come in we're gonna add our for us the tropical elixir I'm gonna come in we gotta bring that together just slightly try not to over whip there we go oh man oh and you can just smell that coconut rum oh man that is gonna be great I'm gonna retire this I think I'll probably jump back at it. Now we're going to fold in our whipped cream into our, um, that is our gelatin egg sugar rum mix. So here we go. Just like so. Bring this in. Just like that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get every bit of it in there. Just like so. And then we're going to carefully fold it in. Just like that, you know, stay right there. So this is what we're going to do. Just slowly and easily just kind of fold this in. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. This is going to be so good here in a few minutes. Well, not a few minutes. It takes a little while. Because we're a long ways from being done. It's a lot easier to create this than, uh, you know, to the point where we can eat it. Because we got to let it set up and sit in the oven for a little bit. The oven, listen to me, into the fridge for a few. <laughs> Here we go. Now see that? That is a, that's nice. It's pale yellow. It's got a nice, um, a nice consistency. Everything is incorporated in there. Oh, man, it's going to be good. So here we go. Come over. I'm going to grab our pre-made pie shell. Just like that. We're going to keep the lid. Now all we're going to do is we're going to pour it in. It's that simple. Just like this, it should fill it right up to the rim. Man, check that out. Kind of looks like we know what we're doing. <laughs> so, anyway, there we go. Now, all we have to do is, um, oh yeah, that is good. So, we're going to now put the cover back on and crimp these little sides down. Be careful. Don't. Don't do that, because if you do that, I promise you, you're going to get cut. These little edges, that little aluminum edge will light you up. Now, we're going to put this in the fridge for maybe about an hour, hour and a half, just so, uh, you know, everything cools off and that gelatin has a, has a chance to set. Then we're going to decorate it with some whipped cream and uh, slice one up. <laughs> Oh man, it has been about an hour, hour and a half. Hopefully, we're all set and ready to plate and cut the sucker up. Let's see what we got here. 
I'm gonna come in, open this up, and be careful. Oh my, what do we got here? A little jiggle. We'll have to wait and see how that works out for us. So anyway, here we go. We've got our our rum pie right here. Now I'm gonna, because you know we're not gonna take this out of our pan. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of close these all the way around. We're gonna decorate it in the little uh, aluminum, or as they say in Britain, aluminium <laughs> pie pan. Anyway, so here we go. There, that's our goombe. Uh, pie our rum pie sitting right here now. We're gonna come in here uh, We've got some hot fudge now. I didn't make this thank God, but anyway, this is Garadelli's this hot fudge You know heat it up in the microwave. I'm gonna come over and I tell you what I'm gonna move that out of the way and we're just gonna give the plate just just a nice little Decoration You know nothing exciting whatsoever check that out Okay, almost looks like Christmas tree. Whatever. So, here we go. Now I'm going to come in. And what I did uh, while we were waiting for this to set itself up, I created our own little um, whipped cream. Yes, I did. And what I did is we took uh, about a cup of whipped cream. We added a quarter cup of powdered sugar and a couple of tablespoons of our rum mix it up with the old uh, mixer and here we go we stuck it in a uh, piping bag and i believe this is a wilton 2d or 2b tip so you know i'm no real artist but we're gonna we just come through here and we're just gonna add these little cute flower looking thingies all the way around just like so and just kind of adds a little something to it and at the same time some good flavor just like that yes sir Reed. now we're gonna put that right there because we're not quite done with that now here comes the challenge you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come in here just for presentation purposes we're gonna give one in the middle just like that maybe a little bigger just like that and I'm gonna come in with a couple you know, let's see here. I'm going to grab this guy. It's a little mint leaf, just for a little decoration. Just like so. How about that? Isn't that cool looking? Yes. There it is, man. How about that? Check that out. Anyway, that's great. But we need to get it on the plate. And that usually is, so there we go. We'll just toss those that way. That usually is a struggle sometimes with that first cut. So I've got a... Uh, a fillet knife or boning knife and I'm gonna come down and we're gonna cut this just like so okay come down with another cut just like that okay now here comes the task getting it out man sometimes the first try just doesn't work you just got to keep going at it there you go how about that I'm gonna get this sucker out of the way come over here we can add a little bit more decoration to it, just like so. Check this out. We're going to come in. We're just going to add a nice little dollop on the end. Oh, yeah. And we just come in just a couple of little small ones. Kind of spice it up a tad. Just like that. How about that? Heck yeah, man. Oh, man. That is awesome. Just like that. And if you need to, hey, what the heck. Come in here with a... Nope, not that one. But come in here with a little bit of a... Uh, a mint leaf just like so there you go oh how about that there it is man that is our rum pie our our goom bay smash pie right there oh my goodness hey over here we've got our tropical elixir video where we make our goom bay smash and our pina colada up here hey click that right there that's a subscribe button hey i tell y'all what give this a try let me know how it turns out and until next time god bless hey and we'll see you soon